Oh my god, that's not bottom. Nope. Get up. Get up. That's a better fish. Oh, oh, my, god. oh my god. Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back or to the channel. And in today's video, as you can tell, that is Mexico that way. So we are out on the golf and we are doing some offshore today. Brent was actually nice enough to hit me up with a last minute trip. I mean, it was pretty last minute, but we uh, were out here and we did a lot of bottom fishing. We tried for some pelagics, we tried for the kingfish and Spanish and whatnot, but we had an awesome day of bottom fishing with greenbacks. So you guys will see that. And we're headed back now. We're gonna cook up some fish and hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Well, we got greenbacks. We got a very, yeah, we both, we both put in the work. Okay, let's not get my lens all dirty, but we got a size 1.0 circle hook little green back right here. We're gonna hook it right through the nose, just like that. I don't know, this is probably, I don't know what size split shot that is, but it's it's a hefty one. Got 20 pound leader, 10 pound braid, 2500 Shimano Nasi, and a 6.6 light. Should be pretty fun on this little reef we're at right now. Brent, it was nice enough to invite me out today on this beautiful day, so hopefully, hopefully we catch some fish. Stay tuned. A little change of plans. We are now what, 18? 18. 18 miles out. Went from four to five to 18. It's beautiful out here. We got the same rig from earlier and you know, this might be a little light here, so we'll see what happens. I mean, you got 2,500 too, but yeah. you have a seven foot something, medium something. <laughs> I got a light. Oh, already, immediately. There you go. Well, that's fish. Just put on an egg weight, a little bit heavier. Imagine it's not. Imagine it's just like a squid. <laughs> it's not a fish. <laughs> squid? Skyway? <laughs> Come on, buddy. Oh boy, the mangoes are here. Okay. Well, that's number one. It's definitely gonna be let go, but that's a good sign though. Yeah, that was immediately. Oh, there he is. That looks better. I'm gonna let that guy go. See you later. Dude, 15 inch plus mangoes would be super fun on these. Like, can you imagine? It's, a, it's immediate, as soon as it hits the bottom, they start messing with it. Yep, 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 yep. There he is, he's in, he's in structure. Uh, better. It's so fun on the light rod, oh my gosh. It's like, it's this is a four to 10 pound rated rod. It's better, I don't think it's, like huge, but it's definitely better than, it's not fighting anymore, which makes me kind of think it's a grouper. Oh, that's just a better mango. That's a little bit better. A little bit better. Oh, that's a keeper. Do you think he's uh, uh, a... Yeah, we'll, we'll give it some time. We'll see what we get. He's got a crab in his throat. Crab? Yeah. Huh. Interesting. Well, there's my second mangrove. Greenbacks are just the easiest way to find mangroves offshore, I feel like. There we go. Oh, Brent's on. That's a little bit better. better. All right, let's let this guy go. See ya. All right, 24 inch mango on this drop. <laughs> on this combo, oh my gosh. Let's say... Let's make a minimum. 13 minutes. Okay, we'll all right. We'll give it an inch buffer. So, okay, that's fair. We won't keep anything... Unless it's better than... 13 inches. Yep. Like... That's fair. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Mm. It's iconic for a snapper to do that to me. What do you do to you? They're, they're good at getting the bait off the hook. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. That's a better one. Oh boy, oh. that's a better one. Yeah, snapper. Snapper. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You wanna flip him or you wanna get the nut? Dude, we're Dude, that's a snapper Dude, that's already. a tanker. That, I mean, that's over our 13 inch minimum. It's probably 14. 14, 15. Get the pliers, because I'm not going to try and get that no. with my fingers. All right there, 14. Nice. You know, we like to mix our drinks and oh, yeah. fish together into one place. Mmm, tasty. I don't know, I like snapper. They're fun, because they're, they're like, they fight, they fight, they fight, and they're like kind of tricky. Still one thing. There 
Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. You got it. You got it. Oh no. You got it. Dude. You're doing oh. great. Oh, my camera's that. tilted. Oh my god. All right, get him up because we did get sharked here a couple oh, times. Oh god, no. Dude, this isn't the time to tell me that there's sharks here on a, on a 4 to 10 rod. This is basically a crappy rod. Bluegill rod. Dude. I'm trying. You're good. I'm trying. <sighs> Is that a snapper? It might be. Dude, if that's a snapper, that's a big one. That's a snapper. Oh my gosh. On the little rod. Dude! Oh my god, that's a giant! <laughs> that's a giant! Dude. On the little rod! Dude! What oh is my god! Look at this! You Look just beast of that thing! What? That thing, my camera like shifted because of the waves, but this this little rod. Oh, dude, man. that's a piggy. That is a straight up piggy. That's an 18 at least. Oh my. Dude, let me let him chill out first. Caress him. Oh, he's not, he's not right there actually. I don't trust these things, dude. They scare me. All right, let me see if I can. Look at that. That is crazy. That is a four to 10 rated rod and a 2,500 with 10 pound braid. Caught a fat mango right there. That's awesome. Get Good idea, Brent, to come out here. <laughs> Get a measurement on yeah, that guy. Really, that might be 20. That's kind of a tanker. Right there. 18. 18? 18 to the end of it, yeah. That's a solid one. That's a stud. So the GoPro was off the entire time, which sucks, but I did get on here, except this was in the way. The waves rocked it, but it still looked pretty good. That was awesome. That was pretty crazy to see that big of a mangrove caught on that combo. I think I'm going to try the tiny rod eventually, but we're going to keep knocking away at some snapper before i do that let's get to it oh yeah they're they're fired up i mean like as soon as my greenback hits the bottom it's like yeah. be ready That's exciting to know oh that oh like 18, 20 there you go. oh god oh no good one. oh no oh no he's up he's up my drag's a little loose okay he's got him he's up there's no sharks no sandbars oh fish on Fish on! That looks like a better one, dude. That's a good one. That's a good one. Brent's got a really good one. We're, we're killing the snapper right now, dude. They really, they really are. Mine's like decent. Yours is probably bigger though, I would assume. Mine's definitely a keeper, but what is that? Oh. That's a bigger scamp. Oh. I don't think he's quite big enough to keep. They need to be 16. I don't think he's 16. Well, that's a new species. What are you gonna do with that guy? Uh, I guess we'll measure him, right? What do you You're think? He's kind of like, ah, uh, he's iffy. I think we can do better. See you, dude. So we take these little greenbacks that we caught earlier with the net on our bridge and take the circle hook. There's a little cartilage spot right under the eye almost. Well, a little above the eye, I guess. And it, the hook just kind of like slides in. Easy place to hook them right there and dropping it down 65 feet. Rent's on again. That looks like a better fish. That's, just That's that is a gag. That's a, that is, perfect. that's a gag. Get him, Brent, get him, get him. Unless this is just a big snapper. Get him. That's a better fish. That's a good one. Please be a snapper. That'd be sick. If that's a snapper. It's still try, Dude. Huge lane. No way. Oh Huge my lane. gosh, dude. Oh. That's a stud. Oh my god! Oh, dude! Oh, look what? at the size of this oh. lane snapper, dude! That is a tank. These are supposed to be like the little guys. No, that is not a little guy. Look at this lane snapper. That's a 18-inch lane snapper. Easy. Right there. You want to guess? Mm, 19. 19. No way. Yep. 19 inch lane 19 inch lane snapper right there that is a that, that's my biggest lane that's a pb right there i almost guarantee that's a big one that's he's going in the box well look at the graph oh my god dude the graph's lit it's it's, lit. it's a whole it's a whole party down there it's crazy like the two smallest mangroves we've caught so far are like 11 and 12. <laughs> like yeah that's crazy Oh, that's, oh, there you go. There you that's go. fish. He was in the, oh gosh, who feels heavy. 
the little rod is too much fun. Like heavy, heavy? Or? It, it feels like a grouper, if I'm being honest. It's not fighting anymore. I don't know why, but it feels like a... Yeah, I haven't caught a grouper yet. It really feels like a grouper for some for some reason. For for some reason. English. <laughs> um. Yeah, I think it's. Wait, hold on. What? Oh, it's a little red. That would make a hundred percent more sense. Little and heavy. That's that pretty much sums up little grouper. It's like me. Oh, what did you say? Hmm? Huh? <laughs> oh, there's my green back. Can I get that back? Change provided. That is adorable. Look at that little cutie. These guys need to be 20 to keep, and you can't keep them, but like I said, not 20. So, see ya. There it goes. No, that's a baby. Your lane snapper could ate him. <laughs> Wonder if they've got any kings today or not. Oh my God, that's not bottom. That wasn't bottom. Oh no, yeah, that isn't gonna come into the boat. Oh yeah, no, that whatever I just hooked, mm -mm. that wasn't going in the boat. I mean, I'm totally expecting to hook things that I can't handle on this, but I think that was my first one that I've encountered. That was big. I literally thought that was bottom. It was just moving real slow. We're ready now though. Gonna tighten the drag. Much better. Oh my God, Clyde! Jeez, Louise! Look at this ugly little. Look at his face. Look at this. Look, 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 look. Might need to be caught. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Oh my God, dude! He's oh top water. Oh, oh my God! Clyde is fired up. Okay, this ought to be interesting. Can you give me like a little, like a little guy? Yeah, like that one's perfect. You're welcome. Thank you. I read your mind before you even said it. Yep. Oh. Oh. Nope. 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 All right, let's see if I can make this work. This is not ideal. I don't recommend this. He is quick, dude. Oh my gosh, he's zooming. He gave up. Oh God, oh God, Brent. Fish on, fish on. It's small, it's, it's small, but I got a fish on the little rod. Wait, is this even on here still? What is this? Brent, this thing's like, dude, I've caught bluegill that fall harder. What is this? What is this? Is that a grunt? Oh, it's a baby mango. That's adorable. On the tiny I rod. What you wanted. No, I want a bigger one. <laughs> I want to catch one that like scares me. Okay, well, caught a fish on the tiny rod, but not big enough. See you, dude. 20 pound fluoro, eight pound braid, 1,000. It, it's fun. I don't know. It's kind of sketchy though. Oh God. Go. Nope, nope, get up, get up. Another little mango, I think. No, I need something bigger. I need, I need something scary. This wasn't okay. It's still. People in that video with a shark. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well. Oh no 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 no. What? Oh, it's a grunt. Clyde. Clyde. You got Clyde? Clyde. No, yeah. Brent. Yeah. You got Clyde. He's kind of fighting though. Ah, oh, Clyde. Oh, I'm dropping it. Ate it on the drop. Yeah, that's. I'm telling you, he's quick. All right, fish number two, little grunter. Oh, Brent, you caught Clyde. Jeez, man. You swallow it too? No. Nope. Oh, oh you, you still got your green hooked. back. You never hooked. What do you mean? You were just holding on to it. No way. Yeah. Dude, you're, you made a magic trick happen. Oh, you know what this is? It's an ice fishing rod, I think, right? Kinda, same thing. I mean, I've caught fish through the ice on this. Really? I caught a bluegill through the ice on this like four years ago, before I moved, yeah, before I moved to Florida. You don't say. I was gonna try to get one more on this little tiny rod. Hopefully I can make that happen in the next couple minutes. They don't want it. They can feel the power through the line. Like, oh God. There, there you go. There's, there's the one we want, that's the one we want on the little rod don't break off don't break off oh no oh no oh no he's in something he's in something we're gonna feather him out we're gonna feather him out we can't lose this this is the last fish before we leave we cannot Be out. no i think it was a grouper i think it was either that or a decent snapper we're gonna have to uh oh oh uh oh 
he's 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 think he wants to be. Come on, come on. Oh, I can't tell. He's he wa he really does want to be out. He really want like you can. Oh. No! <laughs> Imagine I eat this Dang thing. It. <laughs> Dang it! Well, I got what I wanted. I just didn't land him. <laughs> And that is why you do not use a ice fishing rod 20 miles offshore. <laughs> that was fun though. Fun. It was it was interesting. Wouldn't really recommend it. Alrighty guys, it is actually the next day and today we are gonna be making the fish that we caught the other day, which you guys just saw. And thank you to Brent again for having me out. It's always a blast fishing with him. So without too much talking guys, let's get into cooking some fish. I am I'm absolutely starving. Let's get to it. So in today's catch and cook, we are going to be making blackened mangrove snapper sandwiches. We're going to be starting out by drying the fish with paper towel. This just makes sure that the blackening seasoning sticks very, very well, which also leads me to the idea that we are using the best blackening seasoning there is. No offense to any other brands, but we're going to be using the Redfish Magic blackening seasoning. Very, very restaurant-like taste to it. It's the closest thing I've found to when you go out and eat fish at a restaurant. So just coat as much blackening seasoning onto both sides of the filet as you'd like. I like to put a lot on because especially with thicker fish, you're going to want more seasoning to apply that to. Next, you're going to want to prepare the grill. And I like to use a grill mat because it kind of keeps the fish intact a little bit more. You don't have to worry about the fish falling through the grill. And we're going to be placing a little bit of butter on top of that grill mat. Set it to about three quarters heat. And this is going to make sure it blackens pretty quickly because it's a very, very fast process. After you place the fish on the butter on the grill mat, I like to give it a couple minutes on each side. It's a very, very quick process, and basically you're just looking for it to flake off and break apart once you push it with a fork or a spatula. And that's pretty much about when I cooked it until, so you guys can see it came out looking amazing. We accompanied it with a little bit of other small sides like broccoli and sweet potato. I also like to use tartar sauce using a little bit of mayonnaise and relish came out amazing it was absolutely delicious i'm going to be posting every wednesday at 6 p.m so be on the lookout for more videos like comment and subscribe and check out brunch channel i will see you guys in the next one peace